In this channel, we have a tradition where I usually suit up, but not for this episode because I told you guys that I dropped slime. But I want to start it back up. We're going to start with the, you know, episode 24 with, you know, Diablo and everything and try to get the season 2 done in time so that we can get to season 3. Please, I'm begging you, just, just, in, I, just please, just let it work. I'm just, it's an entire season to fucking cover it. If you guys, please, I'm begging you, please, please. Let's begin. This is like a summoning ritual, right? But like, isn't this insane that she was able to summon him? Cause like, he's like a progenitor vampire or some shit, right? But like, how did this random girl just summon him? Like, do doesn't it take an incredible amount of sacrifices and mana or some shit to like, to summon some being like him? He let him get summoned on a whim, he was bored? <laughs> so this girl had no business being able to summon him, but he was like, oh, finally, there's someone new that wants some help. All right, I'll, I'll go, I'm so bored. Also, did I call him a progenitor vampire? Progenitor demon? Something to do, so he really was bored. That's my payment. You already did. <laughs> did she just die? Did she just die? Is that, that, that was a contract and my payment and then she died? <laughs> Alright. Your emotions taste the sublime? Emotions? He eats emotions? He took her soul? Three days. So what does it mean? Like, wh where did he get summoned from, you know? Like... He's saying this is like the living realm, right? <laughs> the living world. So he's from like the underworld, like hell. And like the demons are just kind of chilling there. All the demons are just chilling in hell. And then sometimes there's like requests, like bzz, new call. You know, there's this mission. It's like, hmm, I don't want to take it. But, you know, Diablo was like, fuck, I'm so bored. Put me in. <laughs> All right. Oh, their bodies are gone. Black and the mask. Kudo. Okay, so this is like stored in the past for Shizu, right? <laughs> the Conqueror of Flames, guys! <laughs> bald! 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 Why do you even have hair still? Just like, at a certain point, you just have to shave it off and admit defeat. Just embrace it and grow the beard out, right? It's like, just be like this guy! You know, this guy looks fucking sick! And, and he doesn't have a beard, but like, come on! Like, bro! Looks like a fucking lawnmower went right through your fucking head and you didn't even know what happened! Cougar? Yo, is Cougar gonna show up? And like, no, he's a regular human, so back... I don't, how many how many years ago was this? Hundreds of years, right? Imagine Cougar shows up in season three. It's only 40 years. Maybe Cougar's still around, man. Bald. Another baldy. Oh? I bet that guy's bald underneath the hat, too. Bald. Not the silver wings! <laughs> Who the fuck are the silver wings? Pretty important, like, I don't know, adventures, I guess. Champion of Orcos. Who the fuck resurrected the demon? Yes. You're all just cannon fodder. Bald also. Bald. Bald! So, like, they throw around the word hero quite casually. Like, there is an official hero, you know, the one that sealed away Veldora. But, like, the term hero here, are they just, like, casually throwing around this term? Or is the hero is a specific title reserved for only one person amongst, like, a generation? You know what I mean? The, the, the question was, okay, the heroes here, though. Does the heroes here matter? Right? AU, right? The, the hero here, th does it matter? Because, again, you know, the hero that, you know, sealed Veldora, 
the heroes are just translation, but he did say AU, you know, AU or Yusha is like hero. So it's like, maybe they're just like not the official hero, but they're just kind of like, you know, they're revered as heroes just because they're sick, you know, it's, it's not like an actual hero. But there are multiple demon lords in this show, so why not multiple heroes? Oh. Another baldy. What is the demon after? Remains like Remains? So the resurrection hasn't happened. They're just trying to retrieve the remains, okay. Dude, everyone knows her. <laughs> the champion of flames. Okay, we need to know the tier list of demons, right? So there's like a superior demon, an arc, and an arc demon is a superior demon, but there's basically like a hierarchy, like a tier list of demons, right? Ligma. Why is she for a name? Monsters game. Oh, right. It's, it's, okay, it's not the name that's important. It's just the fact that it, it is named because, you know, name beings are strong as fuck. Okay, not a name demon. We're chilling. Maybe. So an arc demon pretty much has to have a name, huh? Like, if you want to get to that tier, you must be named. Huh? So it's like demon, greater demon, arc demon, and beyond. Yeah, you're, it feels like you're just holding us hostage here, you know? Kill him. <laughs> it's a trap! Wait! Is it the bald demon? Oh, it is a bald demon! A lesser demon. It's not that big, but even a lesser demon looks kind of strong, huh? Look at all these different... Okay, it's a barrier seal. I mean, it took like fucking 10 soldiers, but hey. These soldier guards are not too bad. They're gaslighting us? <laughs> They're straight up gaslighting us? It's like, we can't let any of you leave because one of you could be demons? There's plenty of bald guys left, don't worry. This guy could be bald. You never know. Take his helmet off, bro. He's fucking hat fishing. There's another baldy right there. Just rush the guards. What are they gonna do? You outnumber them. Among us? Oh, whoa, whoa, who's laughing? Who's laughing like an edgelord? <laughs> Who is it? Dude, the soundtrack. Dude, this soundtrack. You're gonna try something? Oh my god. Bro, he goes way too hard. He calling their bullshit. Bro is just happy that all the potential demons just gather here, right? Bro is just so fucking happy. You know, just happy about that, right? Because he's just so bored from the underworld, right? Yes. Giga chat. Yes. That's insane. Bro was ready to just kill everyone here until we got the greater demon. And he was like, he'd be happy. He probably knows who the greater demon is. And he would intend to kill everyone else first before the greater demon. Just so he can maximize his entertainment, you know? Kudo. He won't say his name, right? Because he's not named at this point, right? He's not. Because like... When Rimuru does accidentally summon him, then he gets the name Diablo, right? Right? Did Rimuru name him? He did name him Diablo, right? So right now he's just Kuro. And, and this color, right, black, it relates to like the, the whole progenitor vibes or some shit, right? The fact that he is like literally black is like a huge deal. That sounds kind of weird. Kuro. Acquaintance? Imitation name given to me by an old acquaintance. Who is? Don't spoil me, but like, who could he be like alluding to? Is this someone that we know from season one? Someone, an old acquaintance. It's gotta be as old as fuck. 
some kind of demon or maybe some kind of hero that Kuro might have fought a long time ago. Not from season one. It's, it's, could I even know? Do we even know this person from season one and season two? I don't fucking know, man. Gopta did it. Gop Gopta did this. This is my head cannon. <laughs> Dude, she's the conqueror of flames, though. Slight has I feel like, you know, Kuro actually did acknowledge she's there. It's like, Naruhodo, a greater spirit, huh? Ooh. That claw, man! <laughs> the people are hyping up Shizu in this instant! That's the power of champion who reigned at the top! Bro, she don't she be glazing up Kuro? <laughs> I bet he's not even trying. <laughs> I wanna know, man! <laughs> Okay. Ooh, Inferno Flame! Guys, I can't believe it! It had no effect! Well, look at those wings! Damn! You unlocked face two. You just blew off his jacket, dude. Inferno Flame! He was like, I'll use my last move. In this one decisive blow, takes off his jacket blow. He's ready to go now. He keeps kind of respecting her though, huh? Did he take damage? Okay. Dude, it is- I just can't get like Ghetto- like Suguru Ghetto's voice actor out of my head. Like every time I hear Kuro, I just want him to say monkey or something. <laughs> Mask? What the fuck? What do you mean? So, Kudo attacks, but the mask directly. What do we know about the mask? It's like fucking anti-magic mask some shit. The, the mask was given by the hero. Some... It just naturally counters demons because it's like the mask of the hero. Uh, we're, that's, that's the only thing we can do, right? Like, like if it's just gonna rip off his arm like that, and if he's a demon, the mask is like anti-demon properties. Why? Because the hero used to have it? <laughs> that's crazy! That Suguru Ghetto in a different anime just called this Mugen infinite like she's fucking Satoru Gojo, dude. Give me a fucking purple, Shizu. <laughs> I can only assume that your master passes time. What the fuck does that mean? Like, time compression into infinite, I can kind of understand. But, like, surpassing time, I guess that kind of is the time compression part, right? And that's how it kind of adds to, like, how you can't even touch the mask if you're a demon. But other people can take the, touch the mask. Is it just for demons? Hmm. <laughs> but, like, when Rimuru turns into a demon lord, then it's like... What? He forced the fucking mask too. It's not like the mask is anti-demon property. That makes no sense. It's just that the mask has time compressed. And maybe it's not specific to demons. Maybe if anyone else did it and tried to hit her fucking mask, their arms would be cut off too. I don't know. She's got Mugen though. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bows. What a gentleman, man. <laughs> demon lords aren't demons? You're right. Demon lords aren't demons because like random people can become demon lords. Demon lord is pretty much a title in this show, right? You're right, you're right. Yeah, th there's a species demon, but then there's an actual demon lord title. You're right. So maybe we can go back on the cooking and it's an anti-demon mask. I don't fucking know. Mm, he was just playing. He was just playing. That's right. The request. This is so troll! Exactly, right? How the fuck did that random girl in the beginning summon Kuro? But it's like, nah. Kuro was just so bored. He's like, oh, a someone that should never be able to summon me is fucking requesting for something. I'm bored. I'll, I'll show up. But we gotta go downstairs, right? There's a huge thing that happens downstairs, right? Progenitors. Heretical? Signature color. In place of names. But who designed this rule? 
who gave, you know, Kuro Kuro and an old acquaintance, right? That old acquaintance pretty much made this whole rule up, calling progenitors fucking, you know, they're by their colors? Okay. Noir. Noir. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. The, the, the color would be Noir, but Kuro is an actual name. You're right, Gobzo did it. Gobta gave, you know, Kuro his name, and then Gobzo gave him Noir. You're right, you're right. You'd be surprised, he's kind of bored. They didn't know, huh? Because he's a fucking demon too, right? He's a traitor! Even the fucking boomers! Dude, the minister and the, the king just looks so bad. They make him so ugly and bad. Okay, uh... Why are you sitting there, bro? Why are you sitting there, bro? I didn't give my life for this shit! What do you mean? So, Orthos. So the Imperial Knight was a demon? So... So, 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 it's, it's just a fake. So, so I'm like thinking like what, what the lore is fucking, but the demon fucking, you know, role played as a human and killed a demon. Then, you know, it was like, oh, I'm the knight Orthos and not, but he was actually the demon the entire time. But it's a fake story, maybe. Man, I can't believe a demon would lie, man. Crazy, huh? This is a ruined kingdom, man. <laughs> Mugen. <laughs> the infinite mask. Oh my god. You wanna what? <laughs> oh, bro's transforming. He looks kind of scary, right? Probably like an arc demon level, right? Arc demon? He's a name demon though, right? Orthos is his name, right? Arc demon? Greater? Greater demon? Arc? The ranking systems. Ooh, greater demon. Guys, I can't believe an arc demon is here. If only there was a progenitor around. What is that fucking strut, dude? <laughs> Look at the strut! <laughs> he walking! Dude, it's that demon riz. Sorry, I, 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 I... What did he say? The Supreme? Just like that Supreme being who reigns at the top. What is he referring to here? He was just talking about the demon, you know, hierarchy, right? We got like lesser, greater arc, but we do know progenitor level exists. That supreme being. He's not talking about a demon lord. This is a specific demon, right? Is he talking about like noir, blank, rouge, stuff like that? The progenitor? <laughs> One person. <laughs> I want to know. Come on. <laughs> Damn, she really is getting thrown around. Then again, no, her mana is all gone. It's not fair. She already fought. <laughs> These two fucking boomers hasn't done shit. They keep laughing. No, 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 no. Yes! Bro, he's back! Without an arm still. No arm still. Just drops the head down. Oh my god, why is the boss team playing? You haven't done shit, bro! Why is he so sure on top of that? Like, the author intentionally made these fucking boomers as ugly and as disgusting as possible. Nothing wrong being that short, but you know, like, they look intentionally repugnant, right? Clearly, they're trying to, you know, make them look pretty bad. Bro, if he said monkey here, if he said monkey after he said fucking Mugen earlier, bro, Suguru Ghetto is literally isn't slime. <laughs> yes, sir.
Yeah, you're having fun. It's his contract. <laughs> he doesn't know, guys. He doesn't know. Oh, buddy. Dependent of red. Again, the progenitors, Rouge Red. And then there's other demons that are like basically like uh, servants of that progenitor demon, right? Right, right, right. So he, because he's dependent of red, he is like Arc Demon. Right? Or sorry, like, like a follower of red. So like between the factions, like the different colors, like are they all friendly or do they fight amongst themselves, right? I don't know. I, I, I'm wondering like, are we ever, we're, we're probably gonna see them in the future sometime, but like, goddamn, like there's actual different like, and is it only Noir, Blank and Rouge? Is it only just those three or is there more? Yeah. So you can never be revived. The soul, huh? You gonna show me you cut off the head or what? I wanna see it! Alright, whatever. All the endings playing. Shiju took all the credit. Wait, does Kuro remember... Cause like the mask is important to Kudo. So when, you know, Rimuru summons Kudo accidentally in season two, does he see the mask and be like, oh shit, what the fuck? Did, was there a scene like that? I, I forget, but there must be, right? Cougar live, dude. Yo, is Cougar gonna show up in the future seasons? I don't remember Cougar, man. Someone will do something. Rimuru. This ending goes hard, man. Kudo is watching? That mask showed up again, so it's... Bro was watching the entire season one? In the underworld, he has an orb that can just watch season one with us? Truly is what? Truly is a reincarnation? Insane, like, spoilers. Like, why would they say this shit? Like, to me, it doesn't matter now. But isn't it kind of crazy that, like... In season one finale, like, you, you, sh you introduce one of the most compelling characters in this show. So fucking strong, so mysterious, and it's like, oh, by the way, Dreamer is gonna fucking summon him. I don't know, is it? Like, I would rather not know, but you could have just said, like, oh, these two's destinies will entwine in season two. But instead, you're like, oh, yeah, Dreamer is gonna summon him. Diablo. Diablo. That spoiled that too. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we have watched season one. Not really. Listen, these re reactions are fucking all over the place. And I just wanted to try this episode out. Just testing the waters, okay? I really would like to have season two in my channel. I want that entire playlist there so that when we get into season three, everyone has something to look back towards. And it can only happen if you guys actually enjoy it. Please, I'm begging you. There's some hype shit coming up right on season two, right? We got like Hinata versus Rimuru. We got fucking, you know, the fucking Eastern summon people fucking us up and then Megido. And then we got Veldora shit too. I think it's gonna be so hype. But again, it only matters if you actually give a fuck. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.